Hello everyone, this is Shinobi, once again with another Awaken Chaos Era video. Today I'm going to talk about the Void Tower HUD, so you can um, see the new rune marks on the Void Tower HUD. This is quite interesting kind of rune mark. So you can see that we have two of them. The one says that, the first one says that Starting from round 7, heroes will receive lightning strike at the beginning of each round that deals true damage. Lightning strike's damage increases with each round. And the second one says, enemies take 50% less damage from all sources and gain increased damage taken too upon receiving control effects. When controlled, enemies deal 200% increased damage. Okay. So, this is going to be very interesting. So, basically what they are saying is that you have 7 rounds in which you need to finish off all of the enemies. That is, if you are going for a boss stage, you have to finish it off in 7 rounds from the 8th round onwards. Sorry, from the 7th round onwards, you start receiving lightning strike. That would mean you will be taking damage which is equal to true damage for every strike just like in arena and i'm not sure how hard it's going to be it can it, it just says that it'll keep increasing on each round so you just have to have a fast dps team if that's what is meant by the first uh, rune mark that is there on the void tower hard the second one says that the enemies are going to take 50 percent less damage from all sources and gain increased damage taken upon receiving control effects. So does that mean that they are going to, I don't understand when they say damage taken too, does that mean that we are going to take receive the damage taken too when we are placing a control on the mob or is it that the mobs are going to take, take that debuff? But in any case, they are just going to take 50% less damage. So, yeah, so that debuff is going, sorry, that buff on the mobs are going to just give them lesser damage. So, you do, you cannot use any taunt heroes, any uh, other kind of control effects, possibly like freeze or slow speed. So, no control effects to be made, placed on the mobs. And when they are controlled, they'll give Sorry, they'll deal more 200% more damage on you. So it's better not to give any uh, champions that are going to cause more problems to you. Right, so let's look at a few of the runs. I'll just go up to flow 10. I don't want to use too much of time. So basically, I think the strategy would be to use a full fast DPS team without any debuffs on, uh, sorry, control effects on them. Other debuffs are okay, like if you are placing decreased attack or decreased damage, it's not a control, it's just a debuff on the uh, on the mobs. So that should not be a problem. And I'm using Flarence over here. She's got the same gear that I'm using on my guild boss. She's the fastest so that she can place all those, you know, bonus attacks, oh, sorry, bonus turns on uh, all of my allies and i'm using a fast so all of my team mem uh, that i have here have got speed more than 164 so they should be going before the mobs anyhow and i have got a mix of natalie uh, and sierra being water and my val being uh, basically she's a fire so she should be able to deal with all the green champions uh, so yeah, my Florence would be able to heal me and my Natalie and Sierra and Val should be able to take care of the mobs. It's not going to be very difficult, but except in a few flows where you have bosses that are going to, you know, strip off your buffs or going to stun you. Especially, I do not know how it's going to be with Edicris and with uh, Grace Durzak flows. So we will be facing those when we reach there uh, and I'll be making separate videos on those flows. But as you can see, uh, the damage dealt on the mobs is 
full they don't they take full damage from your team if you are using a dps team don't use a slow team here don't try to be say that okay i'm going to tank the, my way through you may be able to tank your way through in the beginning flows but later on it's going to be a problem so it's better to use a dps team but yeah it's your choice you can you know manage whichever way you want to but i think like a full dps team is much better and of course you need speed on your dps team as well i'm trying to make my natalie into 70 she's at 64 now uh, but even if you are having a 60 natalie i'm sure that you should be able to deal enough damage on most of the mobs except those who are wood uh, affinity the rest of the mobs are not going to be able to handle her easily but it's going to be at higher flows that the problems are going to arise and i'll be making separate videos on those but as far as these flows are concerned it should be easily done but the debuffs are pretty strong okay so if you're not going to deal the damage fast then those debuffs are going to be a very big nuisance you're going you're not going to beat the void tower hard if you do not have a fast dps team so i'd say that you know you should prepare yourself up and get ready to build a team that's at least 164 speed that has got at least 164 speed and nice real good uh, dps on them uh, it's not going to be very difficult because you see my natalie it's only my natalie who has got like very good gear on her my val and my C my val is on an average set and she's got around four four thousand six hundred attack and my sierra's got a first set and she's at four thousand eight hundred attack uh yeah it's a good enough team it's not the end game you know elite very you an excellent gear but it's sufficient for us to deal with most of the whatever hard uh i think like i might be uh, using my vans in a few flows where there is edicarus i will be replacing either my sierra or my uh, val or any of my other three champions using uh, my vans who would be able to deal uh, sufficient damage on especially on bosses but i do need good aoe damages so that i can finish off the waves in one round or max two rounds i shouldn't be delaying more than that if i'm going to take too long a time clearing the waves then it's going to be a problem so that's why uh, single target uh, champions or heroes are also not going to be very effective in this avoid our hard rotation but you should be able to deal with most of the flows without much issues uh, so i would say go for aoe damages go for those who do not deal any um, uh, any control effects make your team fast and if you have florence use florence if you have got william use william both of them would be able to you know give you additional attacks so as much additional attacks you get that's better so the more you get the more you will be able to deal damage and the more uh, uh easily you'll be able to finish off within the rounds allocated to you you will not survive more than 10 rounds uh, in with the lightning strike and with the mobs dealing damage on you so it's better to use someone who can give you more turns anyone who can give you more turns is much much better do not use halia use winstrex Alia is not going to be good here she will be able to increase your damage but she's also got slow speed on her so don't use halia uh, and it's better to use Florence or uh, William or use a MSB. She'll joint attack with you. So that will be much better. Uh, yeah, so any other kind of champion who will be like, you know, dealing more, um, getting more turns, doing more AoE damage. That's what you need on these flows. So I think like this rotation is not very difficult per se i don't think that it's like going to be so hard that you will not be able to beat it it's just that you need sufficient damage on you right um, so once you get that you should be able to finish off without any problem other than that i don't see any other difficulty but yeah the debuffs are really really strong right so if you're not able to finish off within seven rounds it's going to be very difficult 
So any of those slow tanky teams that you used to do for previous rotations, they are no longer viable. So please do not use them. Use only those teams, especially when you reach higher flows, use only those teams that can deal quick, fast damage. If you're using Edicris, do not uh, place him in stun set. Do not place him in rebel set. You place him in uh, possibly an average set or maybe an attack set with a lot of focus so that he can deal damage along with uh, removing the buffs on the mobs. Yeah, so Edicris is fine. You can use Edicris, that's not a problem. But you, we have to be careful and not place any rebel sets. Even though if you're placing, if you're stunning them, they're not going to hit you. But I don't know how the effects are going to be, right? So I don't know if someone else is going to hit you harder because one of the mob has got control on them. So, but I think like, you know, stun is going to be stunned. They are not going to hit you back. So stun is fine. But other any other things like taunt or silence is not going to be good for you, right? So I think like even slow speed will not be good for us. So it's better not to use that. But everything else is viable, I think. So yeah, I'll be testing out higher flows from 50 onwards. I'll be showcasing every flow from 50, 60, 70 and up to 100. I will be um, showing all the main boss flows, uh, possibly even 65 and 75 and all those. Wherever there are bosses, I will be showcasing those in my future videos and I'll be uh, providing you the guide uh, on how to deal with those flows. So as far as normal is concerned, it was done without any problem. I used the same team and I could finish it off. Uh, I could do multi battles and finish it off within an hour. So normal is not a problem with this kind of a team. But in hard, yeah, we need to be see how it's, it goes at higher flows. Especially in these kind of flows <laughs> where Sir Nick would be sticking around for a longer time. But I, I, th I don't think that's, that should be a problem. He should be, I should be able to deal with him much, much, sorry, very easily. Right, so that's it from me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know in comments uh, if you have got any comment about these debuffs on the White Tower Hard. Please let me know if you find that there are other teams that can deal with it or let me know if you want to test some teams. Let, uh, post it on the comments. Uh, if you have got any suggestions that you want me to use this team in, at such and such flow, please let me know and uh, I will prepare a guide on that or I'll prepare a uh, video on that and I'll post it for you. Right? So I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you so much for watching the video. You guys have a good night. Peace, peace, blessing and love from me. Bye.